Cindy and I went to Mexico, Puerto Vallarta, to see the humpback whale, something I've wanted to do for a long time. It was amazing, and that was just in December. Now we're hearing that the Japanese have once again gone out onto the high seas with their whaling vessels. Whaling vessels. You know those ships that have the harpoon gun in the bow of it? And they chase down the whales, shoot them with the harpoon. The harpoon explodes inside the whale. The whale floats to the top, blood filling the water all around. Then they drag the carcass of that whale up inside the ship. And sometimes they will kill a mother and a calf if they are together. Whatever they can get, they will kill. That is what's going on. And this is happening in the name of research. they got to learn about the whale by killing it. And just by coincidence, it's also part of Japanese culture to eat whale meat. So don't worry, the whales will not go to waste. They will be consumed. Now, of course, we in Canada cannot really object full force. Our government cannot, as a matter of fact. People can, but the government cannot because our government's hand is red with blood. We have said that it's a part of Canada's culture to hunt and kill seals off the Atlantic coast. So even though the European Union has wanted to put a ban on to seal products, the Canadian government vigorously defends the practice of grown men going out onto ice floes with clubs with spikes on the end and hitting baby seals, preferably baby seals because their white fur is more valuable and they kill hundreds of thousands of seals that way. America, well, ex-governor Palin of Alaska allowed the hunting of wolves from airplanes to protect the game species that hunters pay big dollars to come up because wolves take the young uh, caribou, young moose. So what, what, what can you do? Well, you got to kill the wolf so that it doesn't compete with man. Our interference in, in Pacific Coast here, British Columbia, all the way down to California, Pacific salmon have virtually disappeared, virtually disappeared. Last year in British Columbia, one run that was expected to be 10 million fish turned out to be a million or less that is a that is trouble i mean when you get from 10 million down to a million or less that's a big big decline now i just heard that in 2010 in japan a giant bluefin tuna was purchased by a sushi restaurant for one hundred seventy seven thousand dollars us one hundred seventy seven thousand dollars I can just imagine poachers going out in their rickety little boats trying to snag the last big giant tuna because cha-ching, it means a lot of money. That's the same excuse that in Africa has brought the decline of gorillas, of uh, uh, the uh, elephants, all sorts of creatures. One day, we all have to unite the people, not the governments, and put an end to this crap that's going on and start saving the animals and nature for all to enjoy in the future. Thank you.